Energy transfer. When you're highly ranked on the spiritual realm, demons have to covertly use physical techniques in order to extract energy from you. You know, like kind of opening you up. Similar to how majority of people will go on dates and decide to get drinks. It's the same process. So usually when two people talk, they both have a general standing on how the relationship will work. You see, when these demons get close enough to deceive, they'll break the touch barrier to get through your aura for consent of an energy transfer. That's why the first touch is always memorable, because it's creating a new energetic spiritual connection, if you know it or not. I'm going to give a few examples. We all know how intimate relationships start. Something usually sparked interest in both parties at the same time. Could have been a hug, could have been a kiss. Now all of a sudden this person looks and feels different from the day before and now stands out from everyone else because y'all are now connected energetically. Even when a separation happens, the connection is still there because that person will always stand out and will forever give you a particular feeling forever. And honestly, these feelings usually correlate with the time you've probably been with this person. Just like that feeling you have when you think of a loved one that passed. You see, when you allow people to connect to your energy, they will always have access for energy transfer, meaning they are able to manipulate your energy. And in some ways you may not be thinking about right now. Let's say you see one of your exes that probably did you wrong, right? Just the sight of them might make you feel angry or sad. You might even want to do something to that person you may not ever do to anyone else in your mind. Just like if you looked at a picture of a loved one that has passed, you can literally feel a feeling of a picture. And if you get any type of feelings from seeing something, whether it's real life or just a picture, that's manipulating your energy. This is why it's so important to learn how to control it. So we also have friendly relationships, right? Which should gradually build up before any kind of touch barrier even happens. But if it ever happens too early and not mutual, you will always know. It'll be a moment you won't forget. Usually it'll be a touch on the shoulder or your arm. And most likely it's gonna make you feel uncomfortable. It's a key sign that it's a demon trying to figure out how to manipulate you to agree to a energy transfer. It'll be always and I'm trying to build trust for a genuine relationship. Kind of like a conversation you will have with the cops in which this will cross into the last relationship, which is a business one. The universal spiritual laws coincide with the business world and they are using it against us without our knowledge. They learn how to place spells on the money to get us to agree to transfer our energy into the money in which they own. They then harvest the energy from the money to keep control of this matrix. When they trick and coerce people to sign the contracts, which is almost everything we see here, especially in America, it is a form of physical consent of your soul, which is programmed by your environment, social media, friends, family, culture, etc. Y'all get the picture. The handshake is a form of spiritual consent of your spirit, which is the real you, with divine spiritual knowledge from heaven, which is the connection to God that tells you right from wrong. Because clearly, everything here is programmed for you to do wrong. That's why only the chosen ones have a spirit, while most only have a soul or no connection to a spirit. That's why they don't know when they're doing wrong, because there's no connection, only to a soul that they are being controlled by, AI and our ops. So we all should know our hands are energetic points. So when you touch an energetic point with someone else's energetic point, there's a connection It'll be sparks, just like batteries. We just can't see it, but clearly, it's an energy connection. I said all that to say this. The fact that we all wake up to the truth about energy, the truth about the world wars, which really is a war of different worlds, the truth about the Bible, and all of his stories, which is not our story because we existed before they came. It gets way deeper than this type of energy transfer. This is just on a personal level. We're literally scratching the surface because we all have to come together as a human race on a planetary and universal levels to control the energy the right way and finally stop what's been going on for so long. So I attached a video I previously made explaining the spells on the money, which is proof that energy transfer is happening on levels that most don't even know. Also, we have way more control than we think we do have. Hence the reason why I'm telling y'all to wake up to this truth. Anyways, the video at the end, and y'all know how I keep it. Y'all be God. Hey. All right, so check it. Y'all see that phrase, in God we trust on all our money, right? This is God L, the leader of the Elohim. He is the God they tricked y'all to trust.
can see there's 13 stars representing the 13 families that took over, which also doubles as Cecilia Solomon, the six-point star. And of course, we got the eagle. As I mentioned before, the Elohim was a war with God in heaven. But when you fell in frequency, the RTs, which I have right here, so you understand what I mean, because I can't say it no more, took control over mankind and put us in slavery as we are today. I want y'all to understand this part, though. The Bible is made by Baal, which is the RTs and the Elohim, just like the Tower of Babel. You're literally saying the same thing. It's just spelled differently. Hell, even Babylon, all the play of words, it all represents the RTs and the Elohim. Of course, we can't forget the pyramid and the all seeing eye. Y'all can see the RT's got the left side and the L has the right. These are the spells binding our energy to this physical paper. You and W gods. Hey.